All right, so um, trigonometry is the uh, branch of math which involves studying the relationship between the angles in a triangle and the ratios of its sides. Um, so here are um, three trig uh, trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, and tangent, and they're abbreviated SIN, COS, TAN. And for right triangles, uh, these ratios are, um, so well, let's look at this diagram. Say like I've got this angle here, theta degrees. And y usually, you know, in algebra, when you have an unknown, you call it x. A lot of times in um, trigonometry or geometry, when you have an unknown angle, you call it theta. It's a Greek letter. So theta degrees. The side of the triangle opposite it would be this side. The side adjacent to it would be this one. And then the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse. Uh, it's the side opposite the 90 degree angle there. And I guess I should label that. It's a 90 degree angle. So this, this works for right triangles. Um, so f so the sine of this angle would be the this so the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the length of this side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. The cosine of this angle would be the uh, length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, and the tangent would be the opposite over the adjacent. So that, you know those are the ratios of sides, and they relate to the angles um, inside of a of a right triangle in different ways. So um, now back in the day, these were laboriously calculated, and um, people filled out tables uh, with the um, trigonometric um, values. You know the sign. You know the sign of five degrees, the sine of ten degrees, the sine of fifteen degrees, uh, you know, things like that, um, so that you could look up the, the values, right? Well, now calculators can just tell you um, the values uh, with fairly precise um, decimals. So now you don't, you don't have to do it by hand, you don't have to look it up in a table. Um, so that's nice. And I just want to show you how to do that. So let me grab my calculator here. Um, I'm just using eCalc. It's a great online calculator that works really well for me. Um, but your handheld calculator or another online calculator that you use would be very similar. Um, first thing you need to do is um, decide whether you're going to work with degrees or radians. Um, there's a couple different ways of, of describing the measurement of angles. Um, I could you know, degrees would be like 30 degrees. Radians, you know, 180 degrees is pi radians. So they're two different units of measurement of, of angles. And your calculator um, needs to know, you know, the unit of the angle measurement that you're giving it. So here I'm in, ra in radians. I'm going to switch to degrees. Uh, on your calculator, you might have a button that says degree or a button that says radian or you might go to if it's a graphing calculator maybe to mode and then switch to degrees or radians depending on what kind of um, numbers you want to give your calculator. But here I'm in degrees mode so I could find the sine of um, sine of 30 degrees for example so uh, here I, the the buttons are just labeled, you know, with the abbreviation sine, cosine, tangent. So just hit one of those and then tell it what degrees I want the sine of. So the sine of 30 degrees is 0.5 or one half. Um, sine of let's say 56 degrees. It's not going to be so nice as that. It's 0.82903757255. Um, sine of zero degrees is zero. Sine of one um, is point zero one seven uh, something something something. So then you could do cosine. See so the cosine of zero is one. Um, and so yeah, so basically your calculator can give you these values really quickly. Now later on in life, um, you'll learn the unit circle and you'll know some of the basic 
uh, ones like sine of 30 degrees, sine of 45 degrees, sine of 60, sine of 90 degrees, um, because those those are nice um, those are nice numbers. So sine, cosine, tangent. Uh, this is arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent. Um, those are the inverses of sine, cosine, and tangent. And there's the reciprocals of of the um, trig function. So cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Um, so meaning you flip it over. So you take the sine and you flip it over. So to do that, if you don't have a cosecant button, for example, you could do 1 over the sine of, let's say, so if I wanted the cosecant of 50 degrees, I could do 1 over the sine of 50 degrees, you know, for example. Um, there you go. So just remember to make sure you're telling your calculator whether you're dealing in degrees or radians. Let me just show you, actually. So I could do, I could do sine of 45 degrees, because I'm in degree mode. That's 45. Um, sine of 45 degrees is 0 0.70 blah blah blah. Um, sine, so if I switch to radians, RAD, uh, rad, if I do sine of 45 radians, I get something else. You know, these mean two different things depending on what mode I'm in. Alright, have fun.